it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Salt Beer and it's a can of their Tram. It's a double New England IPA coming in at 8% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. It's part of the Morrison's brand new range of craft beer. I was lucky enough to find this this morning in my local Tesco. So without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. I'm really, really excited about this new range of craft beer from Morrison's. Um, they've just upped the price a little bit. And normally, when you up the price of something a little bit, people generally get a little bit annoyed. But not in this case. Not in this case. I would rather pay a little bit more money for a can of beer. In this case, it was between £3.50 and £4 and have a better quality beer. Rather than put the beers in at three pounds a can and cut back a little bit on the quality of the beer. We got a one finger white head, good levels of carbonation. A beautifully, beautifully, beautifully hazy looking New England IPA. A touch amber in the colour. I think slightly darker for... Oh, it's a double New England IPA. Yeah. So they doubled up on the... Maybe the malts. Yeah, probably the malts. With the ABV at 8% ABV. It would be the malts. Come on now, Simon. Right, let's get the aroma on this beer. My goodness me. This smells absolutely incredible that is just i mean if you told me 10 years ago when i first started reviewing beer on youtube that in the next decade or in a in a decade you'd be able to nip down your local morrisons and buy buy beer like this then then i wouldn't have believed you i wouldn't have believed you for a moment that is just the aromas are just fantastic mango passion fruit Really, really tropical. It's like sticking your face in a punch bowl. Ah, oh, it just smells incredible. I'm going to dive into this one. Cheers, everybody. Look at this face. Ho, ho, ho! Stone the crows, Morrisons! Stone the crows! Yes, yes, yes! Not just Morrisons, salt. Salt beer company, salt beer factory, whatever you call yourselves. Fantastic, fantastic beer. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. <clears throat> I'm going to go into the whole spiel in a moment as to why I'm so excited. But first of all, let me... Let me talk about the beer. It's fantastically tropical. Grapefruit, passion fruit, mango, citrus. Oh, just brilliant. Orange peel, fleshy blood orange. Bad me. Oh, that is so so good so so good that is unbelievably good it's no there's a nice little bit of a kind of a, a sweet kind of multi body to begin with that's the eight percent abv the beer is giving you a body carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth releases more of that flavor and then we go over onto the flavors in the middle of the beer and that is that it's it's just totally tropical <laughs> passion fruit mango citrus grapefruit 
orange peel, flashy blood orange, tangerines, all of these wonderful, uh, and if you're new to beer, if you're new to beer, please don't think that they, they, they've been squeezing orange peel and flashy blood orange and all these different fruits that I've just mentioned into the beer. It's hops. It's, it's generally uh, either New Zealand, Australia, American hops that, that does this fantastic job of producing tropical, tropical flavours in a beer. And it's known as dry hopping. And they, they literally stick all the hops. When the beer's in the fermenter, they put most of the hops in the fermenter. Um, there are some breweries now that, that don't actually put too much or next to nothing in the boil kettle, kettle anymore. So you're not getting kind of any of that bitterness. It, it is a little bit of bitterness in the beer. Hops are generally, if you do, I mean, you're going to get a little bit of bitterness coming through. But that helps with the balance of the beer. That sweetness to begin with, bitterness on the back end, just gives it a lovely, lovely balance. So why am I so excited? Why am I so excited about this beer? Right. You might have seen my little kind of, it's almost like an unboxing video really, of the, of the new Morrison's beers. I was talking about them in a previous video. Whereas Morrison's have done a really good job in, in putting the price of the beer up a little bit. So you pay a little bit more for the can of beer. But there's no cut on the quality. There's no like creaming off the top. There's no like, ooh, you know, you haven't got the... You haven't got the accountants in the brewery going, ooh, you really want to put that, that, that amount of hops in the beer? There's none of that because the end consumer, us, we're paying a little bit more money for the beer. And I don't mind that. I, don't, I would rather stand here shouting and screaming and being massively excited about this beer than going, hmm... I wish the beer cost 50 pence more or a pound more and it tasted so much better. And that was from exactly the same brewery. I said this from exactly the same brewery. Um, I had a beer uh, as part of the Tesco craft beer range, Salt, and it was their iCat pink can. And I wasn't overly impressed with that beer. Same brewery, same beer, I wasn't overly impressed. It was because the beer was three pounds a can now, Tesco's policy has generally been 99% of the canned craft beer in Tesco's. I, I believe there was one, the Brewdog beer, the, uh, the Nitro Vietnamese coffee stout. Um, that was a £3.50 beer. It was 50 pence more, but it was so much better. And that was the route I wanted Tesco's to take. I wanted Tesco's to say, okay, pay 50 pence more for the beer, or pay a pound more for the beer, and enjoy this quality. With the iCat, I just felt that the batch that was produced for Tesco wasn't there. It wasn't hitting that nail on the head. It wasn't making me shout and scream and dance around the kitchen. It was a nice beer. Don't get me wrong. It was a nice beer for three pound a can. I don't mind having an amazing, amazing beer for three pound fifty or four pound a can where I'm just massively excited. So, so, so what I'm trying to say here is Morrison's route here as to be, uh, as to said to the brewer, produce the quality of beer that you would sell to your, your chain of suppliers, produce that same quality beer, but because we're gonna buy a massive batch off you, can we do it for this much money? And that turns out to be between £3.50 and £4 for us consumers. And that's the route I, route I wanted Tesco to take. And they never took that route. They never took that route. And they've since been on um, Instagram um, saying... And I thought it was a bit... I thought it was a bit... Um, bit of a low under the, you know, a, a low blow, if you like, to Mor Morrison's were really excited about the launching of these beers, You've got Omnipolo, Northern Monk, Salt, all these wonderful breweries. And there was big fanfare for these beers. And then Tesco come along and went, oh, with new beers, and, and they got a timer going down, and, and I just thought, on Instagram, and I just thought to myself, for goodness sake, can you just not leave Morrison's for a few days, just, just let them have their, like, like I mean, that, that's what made me think um, Tesco are really on the back foot. That was the moment where I thought, Tesco's are really on the back foot here. Um, I told them six months ago, I told Tesco six months ago, 
to 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 maybe up the price a little bit, but produce but to produce fantastic, fantastic beer. They didn't listen. They didn't listen. I think Morrison's did. I think somebody at Morrison's might have listened to my iCap video from Salt Beer Company. They might have listened to that and they might have gone, actually, that's not a bad plan. And I'm not standing here going, ah, 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 look at me type of thing. This is not what this is about. This is about the quality of the beer in the glass. And that's what I always wanted. Always wanted was a fantastic quality beer in the glass. This is the type of beer you could pick up in a bottle shop or an online beer store and you would wow about it. You would absolutely wow about it. Now, I quite like the convenience of it. You can nip down your Morrison store, pick this up. And if you're liking New England IPAs, in this case an 8% on a double version, this will give you the wow factor. This will give you the wow factor. Standing on the shoulders of giants, um, Soldiers and Microbrewery on a mission to unify heritage and modern brewing. Our homeland, the Ulalesco village of Saltaire, was built by a super progressive pioneer of workers' rights in the 1800s. We adopt the same progressive spirit through our modern brewing styles. The inspiration of our forefathers can be seen in our name throughout our brewery and on the textile terms used in the name of it. I watched something on Fred Dibner actually about this salt air place. Um, he was a man, he was a teetotaler who built the town and he built it without any pubs in, apparently. I think that's what Fred Dibner said anyway. Anyway, um, water, malted barley, hops and yeast, based in salt air. If you like your beer, please go and pick this up. It's absolutely fantastic. My rating for Tram Double New England IPA. It looks fantastic. It smells fantastic. It tastes incredible. For that price point, for the money I pay for that beer, that is just absolutely top class. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm over the moon. Um, I think Morrison's now have taken the lead. Morrison's have become the Ferrari or the Mercedes and they've hit the front and they're not looking to let that lead slip. I, I, I want more from Morrison's in the future. I think they're doing things right, um, even with uncertain times going forward financially for a lot of people. Um, I still think they're going down the right way with this. Um, I like that enough to give it a 10 out of 10. That tram is fantastic, 10 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Please give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.